Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery from Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are in the sim today, continuing. This is part four of our creating an airport. And we are in the sim. And I have gone ahead and since the last video, when we were talking about taxiways, I uh, went ahead and added all the useful taxiway stuff in the sim for five alpha one here in Huron o Huron County Ohio um, so I put basically uh, taxiways around uh, all of the hangars and things like that now the hangars don't exactly look like this I will model that stuff later plus the FBO and all that kind of stuff. But uh, this particular episode, we are specifically talking about parking. All right, so we have the taxiways. We have down here at the bottom along the runway, we have the taxiway that's actually type runway. Uh, let's see, if I click on that, and look at the properties you'll notice it says type runway you have to have one of those so you can so you can have ATC or ground control taxi you taxi you to the correct runway obviously most of you know already know that right all right and then linked to that runway we have uh, taxiway type taxiway okay so taxiway type taxi okay so creating all of these points um, and connecting them together our last video showed you how to do that and yes there were some kind of pain in the butt type of things in terms of it not putting it where my mouse clicked all right um, actually the next day or so when I started adding in this all these other taxiways um, it was acting normal so some days it does some days it doesn't but anyway we get through that anyway I digress as I always do in my videos so we are going to add some parking alright so what we're gonna do is we are going to go to objects and I think I'm already there now that's scenery and we're going to come down to taxiway parking and you're going to click that and you'll get all the different types of taxiway parking all right now I don't hardly do anything with vehicles but um, let's talk about these really quick I'm gonna to try to make this video as short as I can uh, because it's not complicated um, really the only complication that you will probably come across are the errors that you will get as soon as you place a taxiway parking and you're gonna see that right off the bat okay but you have different types. You have dock, GA, which is um, normally used for like float planes, that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't, we don't have in Ohio very many float plane <clears throat> locations. I mean, we, they do, they're private, but uh, I usually don't do water, watercraft or aircraft float planes, that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, a parking for a float plane would be a dock GA. Then you have a fuel. All right, we're going to add one of those. So I'm going to kind of zoom into this area. And uh, this is the FBO area. This is not what it really looks like in real life. It's actually an old farmhouse that they converted. I will model that and put that in later. Okay, but this area right here is the fuel. All right, you can kind of see the tanks and stuff uh, and the 
meter and all that kind of stuff. Uh, not much activity goes on at this particular small airport. We have some crop dusters that are housed here and during spraying season they'll fly in, uh, spray the fields and then come back and then they'll refuel or they'll also get their their application uh, tanks filled. But anyway, uh, so we're going to add a fuel parking. All right, so I'm going to add, uh, click on fuel, and I'm just going to kind of zoom over here to the fuel area, and I'm just going to hit add, and it adds the parking space. But notice we get this warning over here, and if you hover on the yellow, it's going to tell you what the problem is. Parking not linked to the main graph. All right, the graph of what they're talking about are actually the taxiway points and lines. Okay, but we'll take care of that here in a second. So I'm going to just kind of grab this over here and I'm going to put this uh, as close as possible I can. All right, now to fix this, this is not an error. If you, if you saved and built your uh, airport, uh, it will it will do it with no errors okay you won't have any failures all right when it's a warning it's it will still work but its integrity is not the same okay so if you get a warning it's a good idea to go ahead and fix that problem all right all right, what was the problem? Well, the problem here is that the parking is not linked to the graph or the taxiways. In order to do that, it's pretty simple. You're going to take your mouse, hit the left control button, and you're going to click. I'm going to click, I'm going to hold the control, and I'm going to try to click this point, and then I'm going to click that part, taxiway point. All right, so I have two selected. I have the parking and a taxiway point. And then I'm going to right click my mouse and I'm going to create a path. And notice that that warning goes away because now this taxiway uh, parking, in this case this fuel box, is linked now to the taxiways. All right. The arrow in the circle, and this is this is this goes for every type of taxiway parking. This arrow right here is the orientation that your aircraft, if you spawn at this location, the direction that the aircraft will be facing. All right, so you can come over here to your gizmo and you can rotate. And then you can rotate, whoops, oh, I have, I still have this point selected. So I'm going to select the fuel box and I'm going to make sure that's the only one selected. And then I'm going to rotate that to the orientation that I want my aircraft to be when it uh, spawns at the fuel box. All right. Then if you go into properties... You can set, uh, you can give it a display name, all right. Uh, you can call it fuel box, and that's going to show up in your scenery list over here on the left, right here. And the asterisk, just in case you guys don't know, the asterisk means this has been just added, needs to be saved and built. That's what the asterisk means, all right. So going back to the properties, you can give it a name. Um, and I use the rotation tool to rotate it, right? But you can also type in a heading, okay? So if you wanted this to be at uh, mag zero degrees, you can just type in zero, okay? Um, the radius, you can change the radius of the circle. This is not a big airport, okay? So you can make your radius of your parking smaller, all right? And then your name, you have some names to choose from, okay? Since this is not a gate or anything like that, all right? But you can give it 
some type of name. I wish they give you the ability to create your own name because not everything. Uh, I just wish they allowed you to uh, give make a custom name. But anyway, but if you want to give it a name, you can select one of these that uh, is relevant to your um, scenery. Okay. But I'm not going to give it a name. We're going to leave this the same now. And you can give it a number if you want to. Okay. So I'm going to just call this one. That way it's unique. And then suffix is the same as name, except it adds it at the end. All right. So the bigger the airport, the more that you'll use name, suffix, and number. Okay. So now we have this fuel box right here. All right. So there will be a green dashed line in the sim. And I believe it's going to add uh, automatically. It's going to add a fuel pump type stuff there for that spot. Okay. So that's a fuel box. Next is uh, a gate. Now, this airport doesn't have gates, but uh, we're going to come over here, over here to the end. And I'm just going to put a gate right here, okay? With a gate, when you add a gate right off the bat, you're going to get an error and you're going to get a warning, all right? So I'm going to go over here to gate and I'm going to hit add. Notice that I have a error which is red and I have a warning. Well, the warning right off the bat, I'm going to change my gizmo to translate here. Right off the bat, the, the warning is going to be because it's not linked to the graph or the taxiways. So if I hover over that, it says parking not linked to main graph. All right. Again, you're going to hold the left control, select the taxiway point okay see if I can get this there we go and then there sometimes you have to click a couple times and if you select something that you want like let's say I had an apron drawn here um, and I selected the apron just select it again holding the control and that will unselect it all right so now I have the parking and the taxiway point selected and you're going to right click and create path okay and it puts a line be it connects the parking to the taxiway okay now I ha i'm going to leave the arrow pointed toward the east that's fine for this example but notice down here we still have an error all right now if you go to the parking that you just added that you have the error and hit the down arrow you'll notice that it says jetway and it's in red well that's our error it says needs at least one scenery or sim object all right usually what that means it needs like a jetway or some air stairs or something like that uh, anytime that you use the type gate Okay, so basically click on the jetway and go to properties. And notice that it gives you added default sim object, which is going to be a jetway. Uh, this particular airport doesn't have jetways. All right. Doesn't even have stairs, but I wouldn't add a gate at this small airport anyway. The add default micro link, mini link, link, mega link, okay, or another scenery object, okay. These are types of jetways, all right. But in this case, I'm just going to add, instead of, if I hit default, I'm going to get a jetway right here. And it, it's going to look stupid because there's no terminal that it, that it hooks to. I just want some stairs. So I'm going to select another sim object. Okay. And I'm going to hit all. 
and I'm going to type in stairs. Oops, not tears, stairs. Come on, Christopher, get on it. Oh, hit all again, sorry. All right, so we got some boarding stairs. We got some boarding stairs, red and yellow. Okay, and, and then since I have the PMG 737, uh, their stuff shows up in here. But you can't use these uh, if you don't have the PMDG uh, 737 uh, installed in your sim. Okay, but if you do for your own personal use, you can... Uh, you can piggyback off of PMDG and use their stuff, okay? But I'm not, but if you're making scenery for somebody else, they may not have PMDG. So, Osobo oh, so, is always the, uh, uh, the go-to ones. So let's put some yellow stairs there and hit add. <clears throat> and notice that it puts air stairs there, okay? And this is a sim object, so when you call for stairs, they'll show up and connect to your aircraft. <clears throat> but again, now you look at Jetway and there's no more errors. All right. Now I could save my scenery at this point by just hitting save scenery, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually select my parking and delete it because there are no gates at this particular airport. Okay, these next, uh, the only thing that you're going to get from the cargo, the ramp GA, the military cargo, and the military combat, the only thing that you're going to get when you add those right off the bat is that warning that it's not linked to the taxiways, okay? That's usually the only one that you're going to, the only warning that you're going to get. The only time that you're going to get an error is if you're adding a gate okay now let's let's oh i do want to show you something here okay we're going to come down to uh i'm not going to add we're just going to come down here to ramp ga all right we're going to click ramp ga and i'm going to add and it's going to add it right there all right i get my warning for my no link so i'm going to select this other link uh, this taxiway point right here by hitting the control left control key and then I'm going to select my parking spot maybe there we go so now I have them both selected right click create path my warning goes away all right but I'm going to rotate this a little bit because I want that facing toward the north whoops see see what happens when you have them both selected Okay, so I'm going to control Z to undo that and I'm just going to select the parking and then we're going to go to rotate and I'm just going to rotate that where it is pointing in the west direction. All right, it doesn't matter. It's okay. It's sitting all over here by itself. Now, I am going to alt and slide over and I'm going to add another ramp GA. So I'm going to add. Now we have an error show up. Okay. And the reason is we have two that have the same name. Okay. So first our warning, remember the warning is it's not linked. All right. So let's select this point. I'm going to click off here. Select this point. Control. Select my parking. Right click create path and now my warning goes away but notice I have an error all right the error has to do I'm gonna click show error and it comes up here to the airport and it says duplicated taxi parking all right that's an that's an airport error not a parking error all right so if you click the red button for show error it will go up to the airport and tell you what the error is duplicated taxi parking so i'm going to i'm going to zoom out again and i know and remember it says they both have the same name okay 
they're both, if you notice in parentheses, it says none dash zero dash none. Both of these parkings are named exactly the same, and that's an error. So select your parking, go to properties, and here you're going to say you're going to come down to the name. You can change the display name if you want, which is fine. But if you come down to name, you can say parking and give it a number. Let's call this one. And as soon as I change this to one, that error went away because the other one is still set at zero. OK, so this one's set at one. And if I click this other parking, notice it's none, zero. They're not the same anymore, right? But it's still kind of inconsistent. So I would say, let's change this to parking. And then if I typed in one, my error will show back up. See, notice here, right here. But this is parking two, okay? So there are two unique names, so we no longer have that error. All right. So we have parking one here, and we have parking two here, all right? So anytime that you're adding, uh, whether it's a gate, fuel box, if you, if you add a second one or a third one or whatever, and you get an error, it's because you haven't named them uniquely, okay? So adding parking is not hard at all. Okay, remember you add the spot. Let's come over here to another general. Uh, let's come over here to this spot right here. Okay, and let's add another ramp GA. And we move that over to where we want it. Okay, my, my, Warning is there because it's not linked, but I'm going to rotate this so it's pointing in this direction now. So my airplane is going to spawn in this direction, but I still have my warning. So I'm going to select my parking space. Actually, I usually select my taxiway point, control key, left control, click, check my parking, right click, create path my warning goes away and remember now I'm not getting an error because those two parking spaces that we just added each have a unique name and even this new one has its unique it's none parking zero okay but you can go to properties again whoops click your spot and we can say parking and we can say three all right so now we have three parking spots at this airport all right and then you can hit save because these are relatively accurate like i said i didn't save it after i added the gate because there's no gates here all right so we added a fuel box here and we i showed you how to add a gate and add a sim object to the gate and we also have and then i deleted it because we don't have gate here and i re-added a new ramp ga here and here and down here and gave them each a unique name okay now going back to the parking uh, for the properties of the parking remember you can change the heading by just wrote using the gizmo to rotate or you can type in an actual magnetic heading and the size of the parking space all right and then for type you can change the actual type to a large so if i click large all right okay it will it will tell your uh pilot that this is a large parking space okay and then you can change the size of the diameter if you wanted to but 
this one I'm just going to call it GA. So type, you can change the type here in the properties, okay? So you got small, you got gate small, G, you know, you got all this kind of stuff that you can change it, all right? So you got an extra large gate, all this kind of stuff, okay? But you can type in the size, so this, these are pretty small at this airport, all right? Now, in the properties, if you'll notice, it says parking T, okay, parking T right down here, all right. The, if we zoom in, all right, if you remember when I did taxiways, like here, taxiways, and I go to property, I did not draw a center line because I like to add those with custom lines. All right. If you go to if you go to the parking, okay. You notice that it says parking T offset. Well, we don't have a parking T. All right. And the reason we don't have a parking T is because if you select the link between this see this link right here from the uh, taxiway point to the parking there's actually a line there okay this is the link between the parking and the taxiway point alright and it brings up the same properties as a taxiway would alright so I'm gonna click this taxiway and I have ground merging on but I don't have a center line but if I choose center line notice that it draws the center line alright now let's turn this off and I'm going to select this link between the parking, uh, the taxiway parking, and the taxiway. See these these properties show up just like if it was a, a regular taxiway. If you hit center line, you get the T for the for the parking. All right. Then if you choose the parking uh, taxiway parking itself then you can add your taxi T offset, all right? And if it has a number, you can click that. Notice that we get that little yellow box with the three that we've put the number, all right? Now, you might have these in big airports. This particular airport doesn't have this kind of stuff. But you can edit the position of all of that. So if I did edit position of the number, okay, and I click that, you can move it, all right? And you can do some other editing, all right? But... This small airport doesn't have any center lines and it also does not have the T. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. That's at the parking. So we're going to uncheck those and that stuff goes away. All right. So you can con you control the parking T from the link between the parking space and the taxiway okay it's not part of the actual parking okay if you want that little t you have to select this link line right here okay so that's some things about parking spaces at airports and you would just go through and add your different uh, parking to that so I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them. And if you haven't, please subscribe. And if you feel inclined to support me in what I do here on this channel, please consider buymeacoffee.com slash myphysicalworld. And I will see you guys on part five of creating an airport. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do in part five, but we're going to get there. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on the next video. See you later.